First of all, I want to definitely give uh, credit to, to Coach Malzahn and Auburn. Uh, very good football team. Um, we knew that coming in. They're very physical. Um, he's built a great program. And um, credit to those guys. We knew they were very big and physical up front. Um, and uh, so I thought we took – I thought our guys uh, played extremely hard. We took two big, big, huge haymakers uh, right out of the gate. Um, we talk all the time about you, you can't give a, a great football team any help. Uh, we did that. Um, but I will say this. I thought that once we stabilized and, and, uh, and we went on a span there of about 32, 33 minutes to where our defense was playing exceptional, we gave up three points. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd have liked to see uh, the momentum right before half. We were able to, to uh, capitalize on some opportunities and, and – uh, we could have come away with some points right before half. And, uh, but uh, we challenged our guys at halftime um, that we needed a stop that, um, and, and to get the ball back to the offense to see what we could do. And, and we did that. We, we went to a three and out. Uh, again, it was kind of a credit to what, the way our defense was playing. Um, we were able to go on a 17-play drive and, and uh, come away with some points, which we could have got the ball in the end zone. But um, um, we, we were at least able to come away from, for, with uh, some points. But... Uh, you know, um, you know, we, we, when that happened, um, you know, we, we had some momentum and we gave two big, um, big plays that uh, we couldn't get a stop, and, and they got two big play scores on us, and, and you know, you, we're just not good enough, or not experienced enough to survive four turnovers and, and some big plays and, and some key moments. But I thought our youth showed at times tonight. I played a lot of guys, um, but uh, we're going to keep giving the effort. Um, and we'll come back in here tomorrow. We'll get back to work, and obviously it's, it doesn't get any easier. And so we got to continue, uh, continue pushing that rock. So with that, I'll open up. Yeah, Chad, on the fake punt, I mean, uh, what, what, what happened on that? What, what, what made you decide to, to run it there, and then obviously that, that wasn't the result you were looking for? Yeah, not, not the result we were looking for. It was something that they had showed. Um, and we've actually been working on that for a couple of weeks. Um, and, um, you know, I, I thought at the time that we needed something to maybe get us kick started. We, we just weren't moving, weren't moving the chains and maybe needed something to give us a spark. I knew we were going to try to have to steal a possession somewhere. Um, luckily, they missed a field goal, so that didn't hurt us at that point. But uh, uh, we, just, we were looking for anything to try to keep, get, get a spark going. Yeah, it was just designed to to, to they had a full on rush, and um, so we were to let the rush come and just kind of a just a touch pass over the top, just like a just a just a little um, like a basketball shot, just right over top with him running underneath it and uh, more of a screen like so. Yeah, what's just an excuse between you guys and Auburn and just the time frame you feel like that you can get your team competitive in games like this. Well, I think that that you. They're very, they're very talented. Um, the thing that uh, um, they, that is is probably is, is more impressive with them is the depth that they have, um, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, they've got in, you know great speed. I think their defensive front, as I've said all week long, is as good as I've been against. Um, and then the, they're able to rotate in and keep guys fresh. So, you know, I, I just think that we got to keep developing our guys that we have. We got to continue to recruit. Um, and, and that's, and, and we got to go back to work one day at a time. Coach, at what point did you feel like the wheels had fallen off and can you explain your logic behind keeping Ben Hicks in the whole game? Yeah, I, I wasn't, you know, when he got late in the game like that, it wasn't fair for, for any of those other guys to go in in that moment. Um, you know, I, I, I felt all week long that, uh, um, you know, as we, we got through the week and the, you know, the understanding of the protections, I, you know, I was, I was very comfortable with Ben. Um, I, I, yeah, I never felt, you know, that the wheels actually came off. That wasn't that, 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 that never f crossed my mind. I felt that, uh, our guys were continuing to play extremely hard. Uh, we gave up some big plays and, um, you know, we made some substitutions there at the end to try to get some more young guys in on the defensive side of the ball. And, and, uh, um, they were able to crease one on us. So, you know, not, not, not the results we wanted and definitely not the way we wanted to finish that game. Coach Morris. 
with five games left, what offensively can you do to get something going? It, it seems like you said earlier, defense settled in today, mm -hmm. but you just couldn't get any points on the board. Would it be some – out of out of the box offensive idea, or, or what's what what can you do to get some points on the board? Well, I, I think the one thing that we've got to do is is um, you know we got to execute, um, and um, you know we we've, we've we've got to be able to to uh, um, capitalize on the shots when we do take them, um, and 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 really there's there's I mean we've exhausted a lot. I mean we're we're a lot of RPOs are happening right now, um, and we got to make sure that we're doing a good job of reading those RPOs right. Um, and you know, again, this is um, this is a good football team we went against this week as well too. And and we got to we just got to go back to work. And you know, we, we you know, I knew I didn't feel like we could get the ball run effectively consistently inside. We were trying to get the ball out on the edge. Uh, that was the game plan coming in, and and we knew their speed was 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 good. Um, but uh, you know, they were they were able to to. Uh, to, to stabilize some of the outside run game too for us. But again, we just got to go back to work and, and uh, you know, make some plays. Chad, has this, has this rebuild been more than what you thought it would when you took the job? And how do you keep everybody, you know, focused and, and staying in, not just players, but fans and, yeah. and uh, people that support the program? Well, I, I can tell you this. There's a group of young men in that locker room over there that are, that are going to stay in the fight. And no, there's no quit in us. And, um, you know, there's, there's, there's only one thing to do, and that's go back to work. And, and I know everybody's just frustrated that, that we're not having the success that we all want to have, uh, that everybody wants to have. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, the only thing to do is for us to go back to work and, and keep pushing forward, uh, keep developing the guys on our roster, keep recruiting. Um, that's, that's it. That's it. And uh, I knew this was going to be, you know, I, I knew this league was tough. I, it didn't surprise me. We've played teams in this league before. Um, that, that's it. But again, it's it's all about how we play, not who we play. And I'll, I'll, I'll continue to stand by that. We got to continue to to play better, uh, to give ourselves a chance. We can't give an opponent a short field, a, a really good opponent, and making mistakes. You just can't do that. And um, you know, and that's what we did. We did in the first half, and you know, they they were up seventeen nothing on us right there. But our guys never never gave in, and, and they never they never quit on it. Chad, um, I guess O'Grady would, would be a bright spot today. What did you, you think about his play today, and really what have you thought about his his play all season? That, that touchdown catch, look, guy knocked it out, and then he caught it again. I don't think I've ever ever seen that. Yeah. I don't know if you got a good look at that play or not. Well, I, I you know I think we all know what kind of playmaker C.J. is, um, and I think you look around. We tried to get the ball to our playmakers as much as possible tonight. Um, had a few drops. It was disappointing, but uh, guys were, were giving effort. Um, but CJ has definitely been a been a guy that's uh, been consistent, and um, and we just got to continue to find ways to get him the ball. Were Colton Jackson and Caps were they injured, or do you just feel you need to make a change? No, uh, they 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 both got injured in the I believe it was in the first half. What's the prognosis for those guys? And mm -hmm. I, I, that I don't know. We'll go back in and reevaluate, and I'll get the report here in a little bit. Maybe too early to say, but you did play a bunch of young guys. Um, some guys who you've talked about playing but really got some substantial reps. What did you think of those? Was that a result of Devin Bush leaving the team? Like, hey, we got to get some more young guys in there. No, it, it, absolutely not. Um, you know, our, our plan was to try to continue to bring guys along and uh, and be smart about it. You know, we don't want to burn a guy's red shirt if, if, if you know, just to – just to get uh, you know a few snaps in. If we're gonna if we're gonna do that, then we, we expect this guy to play a lot. And so there's some guys that we're trying to hold, and, and some have gotten their four games in. Some have gotten two or three of the four. Uh, and we'll pick and choose when we're ready to play those guys. But but it was good. Eric Gregory got in and got some snaps today. Um, and you know again that's uh, um, you know, we've got to try to bring those guys along and develop the guys we got. Solely got hurt, I believe, in the first half, coach. I don't think he came back. Can you? What was you said a head or something? Yeah, I you know that I, I don't um, I don't I don't recall exactly what what it was. I mean I, I think it was. Um, we'll get again. I'll get the results here in just a little bit. But um, you know definitely we were able to to bring Eric Gregory back in. You know bring Eric in at that point. Hey Chad, how would you think? I guess that was the first time since the opener that that Ben really took all the snaps. How how you think he <laughs> handled that? And how would you think he played? Well, I, when when you consider what he he had coming right down the the uh, coming at him, 
um, all night and you know, the speed in which he was he was going against. I thought he did some good things. Um, I thought he kept some plays alive. You know, he's gritty, he's tough. Um, he knew exactly the protection scheme. We had some checks uh, into some of their pressures that we actually hit and big play. And, and uh, again, going back to some of the youth showing, uh, you know, we, 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 we got to get aligned, we got to get set uh, out on the edge. And uh, it was a big play that was called back. To Rakeem, that was a check by Ben, and um, and then the touchdown to C.J. O'Grady was a check off of the protection, of the pressure that they brought. So I thought he recognized it well. Um, he was communicating extremely well on the sidelines. I mean, we just gotta we just gotta keep keep making play, gotta make plays. I think that was O'Grady's first ever rushing attempt on that fourth down. That, that, that was something that did work. What, what did you see from that? How long have you guys been re repping that? Well, we've been repping it. We actually repped it a little bit last year, and. Um, you know, again, we, we felt that we got into empty, that they would get into a front that would be a little bit softer for us, that we may be able to pick up, a, uh, you know, a short yard right there with it. C.J. played quarterback in high school and uh, had taken snaps, and so we had been working that, and, uh, you know, it was it was good to good to see it work. You, you alluded to it's not going to get any easier. you got to play number one Alabama at their place. Just how, when, with what you guys are going through, how tough a challenge is that? Well, I mean, it, you know, it's. It, it, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy. There's none of this. No, no part of this is easy. Um, but, you know, there's no quit in us either. And these guys have an opportunity to come back and just get a little bit better every every day. Um, and that's all we can ask of our guys right now. I mean, that's that's kind of where we're at. And uh, they're, a, uh, they're a, a very good program, um, extremely talented offensively and defensively. So, uh, we, we've, we've got to go back to work and we got to play better.